Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me and get out your Bible. Let's study a little bit. Sit here at the table. Let me get you something hot or cold to drink, and uh, we'll open our Bibles up here. I'm going to Give you a little bit today from Psalm 89. Psalm 89, we're doing this in two parts. So this week, uh, 1 through 26. And we've talked about God's faithfulness. That's a theme that really runs throughout this section, is the faithfulness of the Lord. We have it four times in the first eight verses, and then we're going to see it again when the Lord speaks, and he's going to speak again over here in verse 24. Now, we had the psalmist speaking in 1 and 2, the Lord speaking in 3 and 4, and now we're in this section where the psalmist is speaking again, and he's talking about the grandeur and greatness of the Lord and about his character and who he is, how he operates. And so we're going to look now at verses 11 through 15. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine, for the world and the fullness of thereof thou hast founded them. The north and the south thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong as thy hand, high as thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. The heavens now, leading off, which we've had the heavens leading off several times, haven't we? We had the heavens there in verse 5. We had the heavens there in verse, where is it? Yeah, in verse 2. So in verse 2, thy faithfulness shall establish in the very heavens. In verse 5, the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Lord. And in verse 11, the heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. So he he's using now the created order to describe the Lord's greatness. Uh, so he's he says the heaven, the earth, the world, the fullness thereof. So that is the earth, the world as compared to the earth. The earth is the physical thing. It's the frame. The world is everything that's on it. So the all that God has created upon the earth, the men as well as the ants, plants and animals and the ants, all of that, the fullness of it, the beauty of it, that's all God's. He He has He owns it because He founded it. Then notice, we get a little bit more uh, esoteric here, don't we? The north and the south. Yeah, God did that too. You know, we think, uh, you know, how simple that is, that we have a north and a south. We understand north and south. We understand the magnetism of the poles and how they produce a north, what we call a north and a south. But guess who framed that? Guess who thought of that first and put it in place? Well, the Lord did. He created them, it says. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Those are the mountains there, Tabor and Hermon. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong as thy hand, high as thy right hand. Well, where was that first demonstrated? Or before a people, where was that demonstrated? Well, it was demonstrated in Egypt when he brought the people out by a high hand, by a strong and mighty arm. And then verse 14, Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth go before thy face. Yeah, mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Remember we had that back over there in Psalm um, 87. Yeah, in Psalm 87 we had, well, here it is again, but this time it's about the throne. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth go before thy face. Where is the face of God? It's on that throne. And so as he sits on that throne in his court, his throne is justice and judgment, mercy and truth. He sends out before him. That's lovely, isn't it? Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. What's the joyful sound that they know? Well, they know the joyful sound of God's mercy and truth, faithfulness, judgment, justice, and righteousness. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance, which, of course, is what the people of God do. We walk in his light. 
Join me again next time. We're going to look at verses 16 through 20 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.